back to my channel. If you're new and you haven't subscribed, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. So today's video is going to be about six helpful study abroad tips. So let's get right into it. While you're abroad, you're going to be doing so many things. You're clearly going to lose track of time. So you're going to obviously be sleeping. If sleeping is a choice, don't sleep. Don't do it. Sleeping, well, taking naps is probably one of my biggest regrets while I was abroad. Instead of doing a lot of things with my friends, I chose to take a nap. I chose to enjoy my siesta. Why? Because I was obviously tired. But you're in a foreign country. I was in a foreign country and I literally recommend don't don't take naps because you're going to regret it. While you're sleeping or taking a nap, you could literally be doing so many other things. You could be exploring the country, you can be traveling somewhere else, you can be hanging out with your friends, you could be making new friends, you could you could be tasting new foods, making new memories, making new experiences that'll last a lifetime that you'll get to look back on. Number two. Before going abroad, you want to literally research your country before you go. That's something I didn't do before I left. Yeah, I'm a dummy. Turns out city I was living in was perfect. So clearly you want to research where you're going before you go there because you'll be living there for a long period of time. You want to see how the people live. You want to see what the city looks like. You want to see what you're getting yourself into. Not only for your personal satisfaction, but for the country as well. You want to respect the people. You want to respect where you're going. And you want to be able to communicate about that country with people that you'll run into. Knowing about the country you'll be living in or the city or whatever, it's a good conversation starter. With that, you could also meet locals. Number three. Three. And everything you do, do it with 100%. Literally like Mark Twain's quote, explore, dream, discover. While you're abroad, life is going to be completely different for you. So in everything you do, do it with 100%. If it's learning a new language in that country, make sure you do it with 100%. Put all your effort into it. Even if it's not your first language, if you've never spoken it, if it's hard, make an effort to at least learn it. You don't have to be fluent when you get there. You don't have to be fluent by the time you leave. Just try. There's nothing There's nothing worse than not trying. It's like, what's the point of you studying abroad if you're not even going to try to learn a language, if you're not going to try to learn or appreciate the culture? And if you run into issues with learning, there are so many things out there. There's applications such as Duolingo. You could listen to music in that language. You could listen to movies in that language. Go out and buy a book that's in that language. Change your phone to that language if it will help you. Number four. You want to <laughs> you want to research tour agencies that plan weekend trips for students. In southern Spain, there's a tour agency called We Love Spain. That's a youth travel agency and events company. They take students on very affordable trips within Spain and outside of Spain. Um, a lot is actually included in it. It's really great, such as four-star hotels, transportation, food, and it's a full itinerary, so you don't even have to plan anything. You literally just buy your ticket, you hop on the bus, and, and your weekend is set for you. Because while you're out there, you might get a little bit bored of the regular things you may be doing, depending how big or small your city is. So why not go on a trip with We Love Spain and see what else is out there, especially for such an affordable price. You're literally not going to regret it. Hang out and explore with other people. Don't only stay friends with the friends that you met in your group, but make but make other friends. Make friends in your classes, make friends outside, make friends at the restaurant, make friends anywhere and everywhere you go. Why? Because what's the point of only having friends who live in America? Make friends who live all over the world so that when your experience abroad has come to an end, you can hit up those friends and reconnect with them. You could go visit them. You could liter you could see places where you haven't been to. And that's also good for networking and just having lifelong friendship. Lastly, if the university you attend allows you to study abroad more than once, go for it it's an experience of a lifetime that you're not going to regret because you're literally young wild and free and traveling now studying abroad doing whatever right now in your life is the perfect time in your life to do these things because right after you graduate from university you're going to find that you're working you're going to have to pay bills you're going to have to pay back your student loans you're going to be tied down to so many things 
and you won't even have time to travel. Right now is the best time to see the world. So this was a quick little video. If you want to see more videos with little quick tips, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Bye-bye and thank you for watching.